Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the penultimate episode of Game of Thrones. It's probably been since late November that I watched the previous episode, which this is now February 5th. So it's been a couple of months since I watched that episode. So I'm not going to really go into a long synopsis of what I remember or what I expect or what I thought of the previous episode because it's, it's been a, a couple of months. Thinking back on it, I remember, what do I remember? I remember they, at right at the end, they beheaded Missandei, is that her name? Daenerys's right-hand woman, if you will. And Daenerys was headed back to one of her dragons, it looked like, if I'm remembering correctly. And there's about to be a war, so it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out. I expected at the end of that episode, if I'm remembering right, that there was going to basically be hell to pay because of what Cersei had just done. So I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this episode for a while, just haven't been able to, to get the time to be able to sit down and record it. Now, if you're interested in watching any of my full-length reactions, I am uploading them over on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash 31mike. And I'll leave a link to that down below in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into the penultimate episode of Game of Thrones. Just one more left after this. And then we have to wait until the new series starts. So let's get started. Now, like I say, I did have a family medical emergency. A couple of them came up over the last few months. And if you haven't seen my channel update videos that I made. It was because my mother had had a stroke back in early December. So I have been helping her and taking care of her, taking care of her needs. Um, she's in her middle 80s, so it's not easy on her. And uh, the, a lot of people that did see those videos sent well wishes and prayers that, that everything be okay, that everything turn out well. And I just want to say I really appreciate everybody that, that made those comments and sent those good thoughts, well wishes, and, and prayers my way. They are greatly appreciated. There were no devastating effects left over from, those, from that stroke, uh, but it has been a, a, a trying time for her. Uh, and then in January, uh, early January, about a month ago, she had a mini-stroke. And, of course, each of these events leaves some effect. So it's been a, a trying time and all of your thoughts and, and well wishes have, have just been greatly appreciated. Hmm. I saw true heir to the throne. So he must be writing about John. So Sansa, or John rather, should never have told Sansa if he didn't want it to be known. Come in. What have I told you, Martha? One of his little birds. I have a feeling something might happen to her just because of the way they're focusing on this and the focusing on him. They say every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin and the world holds its breath. Hmm. Not much for riddles where I'm from. We both know what she's about to do. I kind of expected she was going to do it right then and there at the end of the other episode. What do you want? He wants you to be king. The right to rule her on the Iron Throne. Hmm. He's gonna let him know he knows. But I'm quite certain about yours. I don't want it. I never have. You will rule wisely and well while she She is my queen. Hmm. Are they gonna change his mind? That 
kind of controversy has a way of ripping things apart. Sansa? Jon Snow. No. Varys. Oh. He knows the truth about Jon. He does. Because you told him. You learned from Sansa. And she learned from Jon, though I begged him not to tell her. Oh, that's true. Why do you think Sansa told you? What do you think she hoped to gain? She trusts me. Yes. She trusts you. She trusted you to spread secrets that could destroy your own queen. Hmm. And he did. And you did not let her down. Now is she going to have him executed? Not Tyrion, Varys. At least Tyrion came to her and told her what was going on. He just put that fire out. I think he knows they're coming for him. At least that's what it sounds like. Yep, he's got some shackles. <laughs> Not looking good for him, is it? It was me. No. I hope I deserve this. Truly I do. I hope I'm wrong. Well, Tyrion stood up and told him. Goodbye, old friend. He was the one that betrayed him. Of course, Varys saved Tyrion's life, getting him out of King's Landing. After he killed his father. Of course, she could show mercy. Tracaris. <laughs> well, she didn't show mercy, did she? Now, what about Tyrion? Because she said Tyrion betrayed her also. Now, is that giving him pause? Because he's seeing something in her that he doesn't like. Of course, if she's killing those that betrayed her, she said John betrayed her too. But that would probably cause her a lot more problems than she already has. You will always be my queen. Is that all I am to you? Hmm. Well, you're his aunt. Which one of the two of them is older? Is, is she older than him or is he older than her? I don't remember if that's ever been said. Mercy is our strength. Our mercy towards future generations. He will never again be held hostage by a tyrant. Well, that's assuming she doesn't turn into a tyrant. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. Something tells me that's not going to happen. you fail me be the last time you fail me hmm that has to kind of put some thoughts in his head about what he needs to do to protect himself is that the is that the little girl that was with Varys I need to ask you a favor hmm you're the greatest smuggler alive aren't you <laughs> no, he wants him to smuggle his brother in or out. I'm Arya Stark. I'm going to kill Queen Cersei. 
I need to go talk to my captain. <laughs> go ahead, talk to him. <laughs> but they're going ahead anyway. What? <laughs> no, still not right. I want to be alone with the prisoner. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. <laughs> I want to eat the skull keeper. <laughs> Two of the three dragons are dead. I don't remember that the second one was dead. Sail right past the Iron Fleet and enter a new life. Sounds a lot less likely than Cersei winning this one. There won't be an Iron Fleet for much longer. That's right. I do remember the second dragon being killed. Shot out of the air. If it works, give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing open the gates. Mm. That will be our signal that the city has surrendered. I'll try. Of course, this is Tyrion betraying Daenerys again. Which would get him executed. Tens of thousands of innocent lives. One not particularly innocent dwarf. It seems like a fair trade. If it weren't for you, I never would have survived my childhood. You would have. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Well, they always have been close. You know, she's going to need to get Drogon over there and destroy that thing. I don't know how many of them they had. I remember there were a lot shooting at her. But how do they destroy all of that to make sure Drogon doesn't get killed? Because if they lose Drogon, they're in a world of hurt. Now, if she comes in with Drogon here, she needs to take out those catapults or whatever, whatever they are that shoot those arrows. I forget what they call them. And they're right up there, very prominent. Ring, if she comes in from the, from the rear, do they have any back behind protecting them? Or she can come in from the side and go straight down them. How fast can they turn them? Because if she comes in from the side, she could destroy all of them with one shot. Yeah, they keep focusing on that little girl. Get behind I was just wondering which ship he was on. Hmm. You're looking up at the sun. Is that where Drogon's coming down from? Right out of the sun? Yep. <laughs> Here he comes. Coming right at him. <laughs> Just as simple as that. And if she gets down um, amongst them, they'd be shooting each other. See, they can't turn these things real quick. Mm-hmm, <laughs> coming right at him. Yep, there goes his ship. <laughs> She needed to come in, not from the front, but either from the side or the back. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to fire, did they? But they did get some fire. Yep, 
<laughs> Meanwhile, around the other side. <laughs> They're starting to hear something. Yep. <laughs> wow. They were expecting her to come from the front. She came from the rear. Open the gates right up. Oh, see, coming in from the side, getting rid of those things. Yep, there goes another one. And there goes another one right there. Yep. Yeah, see, coming in from the side, they can't turn them to get to her. Oh, look at that look on her face. She knows it's over. All we need is one good shot. Hmm. The scorpions have all been destroyed. The scorpions, and they're all destroyed. The Iron Fleet hold Blackwater Bay. Euron killed one of her dragons. He can kill another. Your Grace, the Iron Fleet. <laughs> Euron's in the water. Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> now, what do they do? They don't seem too sure of themselves there. And Tyrion bringing up the rear. <laughs> now, is she going to kill the, the citizens? Or is she only going after the troops? Or can she even tell the difference? Uh, I think they're starting to waver. And they're going to turn or they're going to kneel. They're going to lay down their swords. That's what they're looking like. Yep. <laughs> it's what happens when you pay for an army and they're not loyal to you. They're only loyal to what you paid them. see what's coming into focus she has to see what's coming hmm. yeah and look at that rage on, on her face still no bells that's what Tyrion's looking at oh there it is now will Daenerys Heed that. Yeah, I'm assuming she knows what that means. That they've surrendered. <laughs> no. She's going after her. Tyrion sees it happening. If Cersei's smart, she's going to run. Not that it would do her any good. Yeah, well, she didn't heed any of the bells. See, and that's just going to turn Tyrion against her now. That's going to turn him against her. Because they've surrendered. And now she's... Killing him. Yep. And John's not moving. That doesn't bode well. Doesn't bode well for Daenerys. Yeah, see, this doesn't bode well for Daenerys and, and, and everyone remaining loyal to her. And by everyone, I mean Tyrion and Jon and the North. Because she's just laying waste to everything here. See the, the look on his face. And Davos, none of them are going to be loyal to Daenerys after this. And Sansa's going to have an argument to Jon to say, See, this is why you need to be the king. 
And this is showing John what Daenerys is or what she's become. So it would have been one thing if she had just gone after Cersei. But destroying the city like that, that's entirely different. Okay, he is looking for that passage to get up in there. Oh, he's alive. We need to get the queen out of King's Landing. Listen, that's the sound of a city dying. It's over. Or maybe for you. <laughs> if you kill another king before you die, they'll sing about you forever. You know, King. Oh, it's going to be a showdown. And Jamie's wanted to kill him for a while. But can he take him with one hand? You can just go over there and bludgeon him in the head with his hand. Ooh. Is that going to be the end for Jamie? Grace, it isn't safe here any longer. The Red Keep is the safest place in the city. The Unsullied have breached the gates of the Red Keep. She knows it's over. Make us hold fast would be a better place to wait out the storm. Fought well. Hmm. Well, something tells me he's not quite finished fighting yet. If he can get to that sword. <laughs> he better get up. <laughs> He ought to go in again. Make sure. What I got you. What yeah. I got you. Can Jamie survive those wounds? I'm the man who killed Jamie Lannister. <laughs> yeah, but what good did that get you? They're not in a good place to be here. Unless Cersei oh, comes walking no. down the aisle here. Doesn't matter, she's dead. And you'll be dead too if you don't get out of here. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to kill her. You think you wanted revenge a long time? I've been after it all my life. It's all I care about. And look at me. Look at me! You want to be like me? Hmm. You come with me. You die here. Hmm. Putting his hand behind her head like that, kind of showing a true affection for her. Sandal. Then she called him by his name. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was going to say, I love you. Mm hmm. A showdown between brothers. Yeah, they're not going to get him. Mm. Now we get to see what he looks like. Yeah. That's you. Hmm. That's 
where you've always been. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Epic battle between the mountain and the hound. Where's Arya? Is she still lurking around where she might run into Cersei? Take another name off that list. I don't know, can the hound take him? <laughs> oh! But is it going to do anything? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. He's going to have to cut his head off to kill him, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the hound better get up out of there. Oh! Oh, and they both fell right about the same time. Both gonna get up at the same time? Or are they both gonna die at the same time? Hmm. Yeah, they're showing this kind of in tandem here. He needs something to put right through his skull. Oh, has he got a dagger? He's got a dagger. No, gotta go through the skull. Fuck, I died. <laughs> there you go, right through the skull. I knew that was gonna do it. He should have done that to begin with. <laughs> well, maybe that didn't do it. <laughs> he needs to get up there and do something. Push him over the edge, maybe. Nope. They both go over. Right down into the fire. Wow. I guess he figured if he was going, he's going to take him with him. But she's just laying waste to everything. And she's not discriminating friend or foe. Which doesn't bode well for her in the future, I think. Because she's going to have no loyalty now, other than maybe Grey Worm and the Unsullied. That's the woman that saved her. You can't stay here. You have to keep moving. We can't go out there. You have to. Follow me. Follow me. was following her might get him killed too. She should have thought of that before she had all this uh, happen. She had an opportunity to to leave. Mm. Wow. I guess that's it for both of them. Yeah, this does not bode well for Daenerys and having any kind of loyalty from anybody other than maybe the Unsullied or the Dothraki. And I don't know how many Dothraki were left. Yeah, that's her. She tried to save her. Mother and daughter together. She tried. Of course, this, <laughs> this might put a new name on Arya's list. Daenerys. Well, 
Well, that was episode number five from the final season of Game of Thrones, the penultimate episode, one episode left. And it was a pretty epic episode. We, uh, we seemingly lost both Jamie and Cersei, and we lost the Hound, seemingly. I mean, of course, there's always that possibility that, that they survived, that the Hound survived, or the Mountain, he seemed to be able to survive anything. But I would assume since they fell that far into the fire, they're both gone. We didn't lose Arya, and it seems that Arya now may have a new name for her list after seeing the destruction that was wrought by Daenerys and this woman that saved Arya and her daughter were killed, and Arya seems to have this resolve in her eyes now. Maybe she's going to go after Daenerys. Of course, there's only one episode left, so if it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty soon. But the way Daenerys handled things after those bells rang and she knew that the, the ringing of the bells meant that the city had capitulated, they had surrendered, and they were not going to fight. And she was supposed to honor that, and she didn't. I can't imagine Tyrion being loyal to her now. I can't imagine Jon being loyal to her now. Or, of course, Sansa, who wasn't even in this episode, was she? I can't imagine Sansa or Arya or Davos, any of them being loyal to Daenerys now after she's done this. Grey Worm, I could see him staying loyal. And any of the Dothraki, I could see them staying loyal. But I think everybody else in the North is going to see her for what she's become. She's basically turned into another version of her father the Mad King. And she doesn't even hold a rightful claim to the throne. And it's known, at least to a select few people, that she does not hold a rightful claim to the throne. So is this going to be the impetus for John to step forward and say, okay, I'll take the throne because you're insane. You're, you're as bad as your father, maybe worse. Will he challenge her for the throne? It's going to be interesting to see this final episode play out. And in one sense, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And in another sense, I'm not. And that's the same with Breaking Bad. I was really looking forward to the final episode of Breaking Bad, but I wasn't because that meant that Breaking Bad was finished and I knew there were no more episodes. Though I do still have the movie of of the Breaking Bad movie to watch. And at least with this, we have the new series coming up here later this year, I think. Maybe next year. But still, it's going to be different characters, different storylines. And I'm not looking forward to this story ending, though I am looking forward to seeing the end of this story and seeing how it played out and how it ended up. So that was a, a pretty epic, pretty pretty good epic episode. And I can't wait to see the next one. Now, if you like this video... Please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any observations or thoughts, maybe something I missed, please leave some comments down below. Or maybe if I made a comment and saw something maybe incorrectly, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload each new episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the final episode of Game of Thrones.